Hey guys, this is Sean with Integrity Ranch. I'm over here at the cows just checking on stuff and uh, grabbing my second cup of coffee for the day with the cow herd. Sun's out there and uh, they got done grazing it looks like for their, their morning breakfast and they're in here chewing their cud and shading up. Show you guys the cows a little bit. They they're holding their own. It's super dry here. We got <clears throat> got a little bit of rain last night. Um, not a quart. Not I forgot how much it was, but it wasn't a quarter of an inch. It was uh, more than an eighth. But a little bit of rain. Um, sure made the night, you know, nice and cool and give you some hope. But, you know, we're still super dry. We sold off some cows. Lighten that load in a drought. Um, but, you know, all in all, I think the cows are, are looking good. The calves are doing good here. Calves are looking good here. Tank's hard at work. He, he never takes a day off. He's a busy boy, dude. Um... You know, if you're going to go for later, late, you know, the commercial market considers us the commercial cattle guys. They they think we calve late. You know, they calve in February and call that spring calving. Um, you know, we calve in April and that's spring calving. But, you know, to calve in April, you got to turn your bulls out in July and... That bull better be heat tolerant. He better be able to uh, handle some heat and stay after it, or you're going to end up with some open cows if he shades up all day long. Um, Tank's got some really, he's super heat tolerant, and he is, he's a breeder. He doesn't take a day off. He doesn't, he doesn't care if they're out there in the sun. I mean, they're all, all the cows are shaded up, so he's, he's working in the shade, but it wouldn't make a difference. Um, show you guys. I'll walk through the cows here. Come on, girls, let me through. I have some nice docile cows that'll just uh, let you walk right through them. Makes life so much easier. I mean, just being able to get up and in video, drink your coffee, and not have to uh, not have one of them sticking their head up and running off. I mean. I don't want them. I want them to move out of my way. Like, you know, Kit Farrow, he uh, he rates docility. On, well, he rates all of his stuff on five stars. If it's under three stars on any of his of his ratings, then it doesn't get sold as as a replacement stock or a bull or anything. Um, but for Kit on docility, if an animal is too friendly, um. He'll rate it lower, you know. To him, a five-star on docility shouldn't be worried one drop that you're here. You know, kind of like, I mean, this cow, for instance. She's not worried I'm here, but if I go to move at her, she gets out of my way. Um, same with like this, you know. If you go to move at them, they're going to get out of your way. Because more people get hurt by friendly cows. Well, I don't know the st statistics, but you'd be surprised how many people get hurt by friendly cows. So, you don't want you don't want to be able to pet your cows, guys. I know that's a that's a like a bragging right for for people, but to me, it's not a plus to be able to pet your cows. I want them to get out of my way. Um, but I don't I don't want them worried that I'm standing here videoing. I'm talking. I can come here with ten people. They don't care. Um, but if I go to walk through them, I don't want to have to slap them on the butt. You know, they better back up. Give me some space. You know, Tank here, he's super friendly, or super docile, but you know, if I go, if I get too close, he's going to move off, and I that's what I want, especially in a bull. I don't want a bull that sees me coming and is like, hey bud, scratch my head, you know. One of these days when I'm old and slow, that's going to be a problem. But yeah, cows are looking good, despite the uh, dry conditions. I really wish we had a bunch more Johnson grass, but even this Johnson grass didn't come on like it normally would. 
um, but it, it's done pretty good. All your warm seasons are what's what's really saving us at all. Well, warm seasons and weeds. But uh, even those, I mean, they're not doing what they should. We are just we're that dry. But you got to have some tough cows to be able to make it, um, make it out on some, you know, some rough ground. These cows right here. In this section, they're walking half a mile for water and half a mile back to, you know, half a mile to get the water and half a mile back down here to where they're grazing. Um, our pond's dry. Our creek's dry. We normally can get water all the way down here in the creek. Um, it's dry. I mean, it is... We have so many ponds going dry. You know, I was at my brother's cows two days ago and... His spring that he's watered out of for, you know, the last six, eight years, completely dry. Um, he has a pond that's kind of a backup, but those cows are out there and they're, you know, he doesn't have a drinking skirt or anything on it because he's he's never had to use it for water. He's always had it fenced off and they get a drink out of where the water comes out of the spring. Um, he doesn't let them in the spring area, but but downstream they get a drink. Spring's completely dry, so he opened up and let them in the pond, and they're they're up to their way past their knees in mud. I mean, up to their bellies in mud to get water, and it's gross water. But I mean, it's a tough year. People are doing doing whatever they can to stay stay going, and I mean, you know, water is a huge problem, but your grass is a burning up and disappearing as you as you're grazing. You know, you always, this little calf, he's about four days old. His mom's supposed to be a fall calver, but we don't pull the bulls. And she uh, she moved up to July. She calved July 8th or something. So we'll take it. He'll grow good. I mean, you know, you can calve in the middle of the summer with a good mom that'll lick them off, keep, keep the flies off them. If they don't lick them off good, you'll get too many flies and calving in the summer can be a problem. But if you get rid of the crappy moms, you can calve in the summer. Um, we leave the bulls in all year round except for, for three months so we don't end up with winter calves. And that just makes our life easier. This is, a, you know, the reason we do that. We still try to keep cows that are calving, you know, that are calving good. But if one wants to move up from fall calving to summer calving, we'll let her do it. Um... So yeah, the cows are, right now, the cows are walking a mile every time they want to get a drink of water. Half a mile there, half a mile back. Down there, down into that, <clears throat> the bottom of this pasture that they just came out of, they were walking six tenths of a mile each way. And then they're grazing, you know, aside from the Johnson grass, there's a little bit of fescue left, mostly just weeds and Cerecia lesbidiza. A um, little bit of broom sedge is coming on, but even the broom sedge this year is just is so, so little compared to what it usually is. I mean, you know, cows will eat some broom sedge when it's green, and it, and it grows pretty good when it's dry, but I've never seen broom sedge grow this little. And, you know, a lot of our pastures have broom sedge because they're pretty run down, but it's, it's even tough on those... Your uh, your warm season grasses, they're just uh, they're struggling too. What do you guys think of that pretty colored up heifer? She's a beef master, um, beef master longhorn corriente cross, and she was the only one that colored. Well, she was the only one colored at all, but I think she's pretty, so I've kept her. I just hope she throws a solid calf, but we'll see. Um, yeah, just checking out the cows and I said, grab my second cup of coffee for the day. I had to go get the sheep moved here in the heat, but the bull cows back there getting their practicing in. But, you know, I think the cows are looking pretty good for the conditions and the, the distance they're walking for, walking for water. I mean, that's a long ways to walk, and I wish I could change it. But right now, I just don't even have the time to change it, you know. Um, this is a lease piece, so 
digging a trench, pumping in water, you know, it's not so much an option. Um, the neighbor has a well up there and we're, we're using his water right now and he's being nice letting us work out a deal with him but he wouldn't want us pumping water all the way down to here you know he's being he's being real real nice and understands how tough this year is and so he's open to it but you know on a regular year we'd like to just uh we'd like to just get water out of our pond you know and pump some well, we're gonna have some gravity flow tire tanks down here in this field but we haven't got those in yet, and it wouldn't make a difference because the pond is all the way dry. Um, this pond, you know, should should do better in the years to come. It's a new pond that we've built, and it just hasn't had a chance to, to get all the way filled up. So we want to put a tire tank in a little ways down from the pond, and then we're going to do another one down here, and that'll create... Make our grazing real nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And see you guys on the next video.